Hey guys, Elizabeth Dre here. Today we're going to address how to build a character in pre-write and how the character choices you make affect not only the content of your story, but your ability to connect with your target audience. Let's get started. Writers often obsess over making their characters seem real by conjuring up details from the mundane to the minute, the majority of which never make it onto the screen. There's nothing wrong with details, but we encourage you to address them as they become relevant to the story. Not to be reductive, but it doesn't matter if your character majored in Spanish if the film takes place in Poland. When you're building a character, it's important to focus on the core beliefs and desires that will be tested as the story unfolds. That helps you tease out the details that truly matter. At Prewrite, we give you a series of prompts to help you build a complex and consistent character. Let's walk through each section. Name. Choosing the right name won't make or break your story, but it is a great way to quickly convey things like social standing, background, and personal temperament. For example, Farnsworth Pennybottom evokes a much different image than Dirk Diggler, but maybe try to avoid cutesy alliterations unless you are Paul Thomas Anderson. Or writing a movie about the porn industry. Or ideally both. Age, race, and gender. Obviously, all three of these things help form an image in your reader's mind, but they also help you check for diversity and inclusivity in the early stages of your project. Considering these things up front will add an authenticity to your work that a diversity pass on a final draft just can't. There's only one writer who can get away with having his token female character light a scarf on fire in a jealous rage over an app developer, and you're not him just yet. Archetype. Our brains are pattern recognition machines. When you're watching a movie or reading a story, you're subconsciously looking for things you've seen before. Just like there are beats that occur across all stories, there are specific character types that we expect to see on our hero's journey. These characters have appeared in so many stories throughout the ages that they've become universal symbols for the many facets of humanity. Prewrite provides you with an extensive list of archetypes to assign your characters as well as the ability to create your own. Image. Whether you're outlining a script, novel, or video game, readers will often ask, who do you see playing this role? Matching your character to a specific image helps bring your story to life. Prewrite connects you to a database of actor images, searchable by name if you have someone specific in mind, or by work if it's a, hey, it's that guy situation. Using the image of a well-known actor, helps inform your reader of how your character acts within the world of your story. Character synopsis. This is typically a simple breakdown of your character's defining traits and motivations. It's particularly useful when putting together a series pitch or proposal. For example, 35-year-old starship captain with a chip on his shoulder, a loose cannon with a heart of gold. He wants to boldly go where you get the picture. Want. Characters are usually driven by a core desire. It's not usually something important for their survival. Without it, life would more or less remain the same. But the character believes that if they were to have it, life would be better. When you're crafting your main character, it's important to nail this core desire. Because once you know what they want, you can come up with interesting and unexpected ways to keep them from getting it. This is called conflict, and it's what great stories are made of. Pre-Read asks you to identify not only your character's wants, but the ways in which they plan on getting it. These will become story beats as your project develops. But a reader needs to see more than just surface level wants and MacGuffins. They need to see, or at least hope to see, real character change to stay engaged. That's where a deeper need comes into play. Need. A character's need is usually something they don't fully realize is absent from their life. It can often be expressed as a weakness that's keeping them from getting the thing they want. It's the journey you send them on as a writer that helps them to find what's missing. Let me give you an example. You want a sandwich. You need to find the strength inside you to move out of your mom's basement. It's important that you understand the difference. Prewrite asks you to define not only what your character needs, but how they realize that the need exists. Don't skip this question because what it's really asking you to define is the climax of your story. The climax is often a situation where a character's need comes into direct conflict with their want, and to succeed, they have to choose one over the other. 
Keep in mind that a character's need is not always satisfied. Some character arcs are darker than others. But if a character doesn't get what they need or undergo the deep change they require, a reader should be left with a sense of what's been lost. Notes. You weren't born yesterday, and for the most part, neither were your characters. Unless, of course, they were born sexy yesterday. Provide all those details we just encourage you not to dwell on in this section. Your characters' complex family dynamics, defining experiences, and tragic backstories all go here. So does their major. Ultimately, character is plot, and plot is character. Crafting a fully realized protagonist brings you that much closer to a compelling story before you've written a single scene. Keep following pre-write writing partners to beat the blank page.